Welcome back to uh, episode 2 of Let's Play Mutant Muds Deluxe. Here we are, now doing well too. Now I should point out that, um, you know, in the original uh, game, at this point, the maximum number of uh, golden diamonds that you could have collected would be 400. Uh, 100 in each of the first four uh, levels, but now with the Ghost World action going on, you can, you can see they've got 790. Um, so, I think I'll show you some Granny's Attic action. You see I need 800 to get the uh, power shot there. 1200 for the vertical, sorry, for the hover, extended hover. And 1600 for the vertical boost. Um, so, uh, yeah. So the cool thing with going to the uh, Ghost World is you can get that a little bit sooner than before. Anywho, let's jump in, shall we? All right, get straight through this, and oh yeah, see, nearly got hit there. So this is the uh, the icy snowy place, which is uh, pretty cool. And it has a little bit of ice here and there. Actually, maybe just at the end of this level, I think, get it introduced. So, um, yeah, as you can see, some of the platforms are getting a little trickier than uh, the previous World 1, anyway. Not really compared to the Ghost World, I guess, but that's a little different. A little different. Shoot back there. Oh, whoa. That was close. Let's see if we can take care of these guys like nobody's business. do this is kind of do around like that and then you don't get too stuck up and crazy fired by the ice. But boom, record time. Actually probably not sure someone could do it quicker than that, but pretty quick time. So now we have 890, so if we wanted to, we could go and get the power shot. But we won't just yet. Maybe we'll get that later. Some other use or need. The uh, ice is actually one of the uh, last things that uh, we added to the game, actually. Well, not, I mean, not one of the last things, but in the last half of development. And actually, another piece of news is this level was one of the three levels that... Um, were one of the first three levels made for the whole game. So out of the 80 levels that exist now, this is one of the first three. Um, I made level one. Oh man, really? <laughs> made level one, um, this level, and then the fourth level of the um, Fire Temple world. And there were the three levels that it took to E3 and showed off in 2011. On the 3DS version. That's when I first showed it off to the press and Nintendo and oops. And that's all we had. All we had was those three levels. Anyway, this was one of them. Um, but at that time, it didn't have ice, weirdly enough. So all of this stuff was just solid ground. None of this business. Whee! Yeah. I love that. The acceleration of his, you know, animation and sync with movement. It's awesome. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, and this, I mean, apart from the ice, this is kind of pretty much unchanged. Actually, that spot right there used to have this weird spiky block thing that when you touched it, it would hurt you, but it wouldn't kill you. And it was in there for the longest time. And uh, I never used it anywhere else in the game. <laughs> so it was like, oh. That's odd. Um, I think just the idea of having enemies hurt you and spikes and other hazards just killing you seemed like a nice kind of blend of hazards. Um, so yeah, in the end, just, uh, oh, we failed there. That would have been embarrassing. Um, so in the end, I'm like, yeah, it doesn't really make sense to have it in this one spot. So uh, just got rid of it. Good technique there is to hover to kind of stop your uh, momentum from the uh, crazy slipperiness. So, 
yeah, that was actually a really exciting time when we had the, the three-level demo to get to E3. We showed it to people at the press, and like I said, Nintendo, and everyone really liked it. And we're like, oh man, cool. <laughs> you know, you never sure. I mean, we liked it. We thought it was cool, um, but uh, it was very old school, and I don't know. It is what it is, but uh, no, it, it was received really well, and that was kind of the beginning, I guess, of uh, the six-month-long hype <laughs> uh, in PR leading up to its release the following January in 2012, eking out um, screenshots and information, and uh, yeah, I mean, it worked out well. I don't even bother killing these guys, there's no point. You can if you want, but... You don't need to. This is actually deceptively tricky. Getting up there a lot of times people bonk their head on the old sky. The eye in the sky sky. Alright, get past this guy. Come on now, he walked into me. That would be And uh, some people have mentioned about the game being, you know, slow, and it doesn't have inertia, and blah blah blah, <clears throat> but there's, there's actually a reason for that. <laughs> it's not just because we uh, didn't realize it was slow. <laughs> it's so you can be on tiny platforms like this, and do things like that without worrying about falling off, and then having to deal with ice and such. Um, oh dear, that was good. <laughs> that was user error, <laughs> right there. Um, it, if the player was faster and or had kind of more inertia acceleration, it'd be a lot trickier to kind of land on things like that. Um, unnecessarily tricky. So I kind of really wanted to have that pinpoint um, control of the character and that not necessarily be the height of the challenge, but just part of your normal traversal action. Um, but then, oops used in conjunction with other challenges can create quite a hairy situation. It's funny, this one, this this setup right here, a lot of people are like, how oh, I get past it, that's really tricky to jump up there and get past that guy. Um, what you can do is, on, on the maximum of your jump, if you uh, hover, it pops you up just a little bit. Just enough to shoot that guy and then allow you to fail miserably on not landing on phasing platforms. Which is always a nice thing. Oh. Retrofitted uh, CGI door back there in the background. Wow, I completely forgot about that guy. I nearly got hit by him. Um, over there in the ice, a granny door. This is a, a situation which is um, easier on the Wii U uh, because you can see more. So you can see those uh, eye shots off camera. Well, they're not off camera, you can see them coming up on the Wii U version, which on the 3DS version, they were kind of off screen. Uh, you could hear them, um, and if you played the level, you knew they were coming up, but uh, that was about it. And for some, that was not enough warning, and they kind of felt that that was a blind, kind of uh, unfair attack, um, which I don't completely agree with, but I know where they're coming from. It wasn't 100% telegraphed, I suppose. Um, but now on this version, it is more so because you can see them. Uh, whereas before, you can really kind of only hear them, or kind of see their eye flying by, <laughs> whizzing past your ears. So, um, so that's cool. It kind of makes that a little bit more uh, easier to read. Dun, 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 yeah. I like this section, it's fun. Kind of a weird little sequence of events. I suppose there's a few ways you could do this, but this is how I do it anyway. Jump in the foreground first, take these guys out. And then go to the middle ground. Yeah, memento. that jump pad over there, 
which I did not use to get into the background. It's kind of a little tease, really, to kind of try and entice you to get back there earlier. Ooh, wow, that was close. The one right there beneath me. So you can use it quicker to get to the uh, water sprite quicker. Or you can finish the level properly. Actually, interesting factoid here while I look at the time tick by. The time limit on the levels used to be three minutes, <laughs> if you can believe that. Um, but this was one of the first levels that really showed that, wow, that was a bit tight. It was possible. You can beat that level in under three minutes, but it's super tight. Super, super tight. And that's when we extended, it, extended the time to four <laughs> minutes. So uh, yeah, just imagine trying to beat this. All, oh dear, all the levels in uh, under three minutes. Well, so most of them actually are pretty, pretty easy, but some of them, like that one, is very difficult. Yeah, this is definitely an example of trickily placed um, golden diamonds. Now this is neat. I like that. This is that was the first time that setup was ever used in this game, and the reason we could do it because we could guarantee the player would not be able to shoot those guys, so you have to use the jump pads to avoid them without getting hit. Um, yeah, so that's that's cool. So this, the, uh, the ghost scenarios added some very unique kind of encounters because of the nature of the, uh, the gameplay, of the enemies and such, which is pretty cool. Yeah. As I said, I'm avoiding getting all the uh, golden diamonds in those levels. <laughs> I'm just gonna barrel my way through it. Oh, that gets pretty tight there. I think you hit that guy. <clears throat> there's a few situations like that where you kind of do a quick jump past the layer, which is kind of neat, I think. I love this section coming up. Having to use this to kill these guys. If you haven't seen it, there's an awesome uh, gameplay video by Kevin of uh, <laughs> Go Nintendo uh, failing to uh, hit these guys. Um, it's quite humorous. He gets there in the end, but... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. But, uh... I love, I love Kevin at Go Nintendo. Oh, see? You distracted me, Kevin. See, look at that. He'll be laughing at that. He's a good guy. He's a good... Oh. Good Nintendo uh, supporter. He runs an, Oh my gosh. Runs an awesome website that everyone should go and check out if you haven't already. Go Nintendo.com. Awesome site. I visit there frequently. Many times a day to see what's going on. Oh, man. I really... Uh, up there, didn't I? Okay, see, so I was mocking Kevin, and look what happened to him, but messing up myself. Alright, this is a pretty tricky situation. Did get oh I, did I not hit the did I miss the uh, checkpoint? What happened? No! And I'm jumping on top of him. See it all falls to pieces now. Oh man, did I miss a checkpoint? That's weird. I think I must have done. Does this level not have a checkpoint? I think it does. Alright, let's get that going. I dis I didn't hit the checkpoint I guess. That's wacky. Okay, did I turn off the checkpoints maybe? Did I even realize it? Huh. Maybe. Yeah, I think I did because it's usually over there. It's usually right there. I think. Oh, weird, I must have turned them off. Oh well. No worries. No worries. Actually, try and get through this while I'm messing up. Uh, these are new enemies, of course, the little roundabouts. Uh, very simple, um, but can cause a lot of grief, <laughs> those guys. They can be quite frustrating. <laughs> and what's interesting is, depending on the direction you're uh, approaching 
those guys. Um, the timing that you need to kind of crouch and jump and so on is different, which is kind of neat. Because obviously they're going in a different direction, so it kind of changes the uh, wind of opportunity uh, for you to uh, get past them. Oh, that wasn't a particular good idea. There we go. Alright. Oh, okay then. How you doing? Boom. Man. Okay, turn, yep, see it's off. I don't turn it on uh, for the. Uh, so, you know, not quite as painful for you guys to watch if I fail. I don't know, just reach it up right from the beginning. Which would be nice. So, once again, the level starts exactly oh man, the same as the other world, but then gets quite different quite quickly. Darn it, see? Wow. Already lost two hit points. Not good. Not good. Oh man, I did not judge that right. Okay, here we go. It's oh, see if I hit this right, you can actually get through this whole thing at the right time. But I am not hitting it right at all. Not even close. Mm. Sneak little eye shot back there, hanging out. Cheeky monkey. All right, see we get through this. Hello, glorious checkpoint. How you doing? The uh, checkpoint not. Uh, not only restarts you with three health, but also re sets your timer back to <clears throat> four minutes. So it's it's really handy. Very, very handy stuff. Yeah, see I'm just completely just abandoning the whole collection of gold and diamonds on this level, aren't I? Sorry about that. Yep. See if we can do this. Oh, that's crazy. Crazy fancy footwork there. I think it's kind of fun because this is obviously a similar setup to the uh, the other world. But the enemies are different. It's cool how different it makes this uh, this area. You know, same platforms, different enemies. Really interesting. It's cool. Let's see if I can do that nice and smooth. Lovely jumbly. So I'm tearing through these levels. Like a madman. Alright, what's going on here? Alright, this one's not too bad, I think. Maybe we'll see. Well, I should not get too much for this now. So I can get past this. Very nice. Uh, see, blew it. Completely blew it. Alright, let's try it again. Wow. What's going on there? It's just silliness. That's what I was trying to do in the first place. Alright. Oh, that's right. This is pretty tricky too. Let's have to keep on rolling. Do some of the inertia. Some ice momentum, I mean. Alright. It was good when you get kind of sequences like that. I don't think he comes over here. No, I didn't think so. And in this situation, you actually do go back, and you're suspiciously close to the water sprite, but can't really do much about it. Wow, that was close. So if this is an over and under dealio, probably an over. I'm gonna try and sneak under. There we go. Oh dear, oh my gosh. Yeesh. Ay ay ay, oof, hello. Okay. That was a little tricky. Oh my gilly. Boom. Wow. Alright then. Ah, <sighs> okay, well there we go. That's pretty quick, right? Not too bad, not too painful. Not bad at all. Well, still 20 minutes though, I think, so about as long as the last time. Oh well. So, 1500 um, golden diamonds now, whereas before, in the old version, I would only have a maximum of 800. So I can actually get both of those power-ups if I wanted to. Fancy!
All right, cool. Uh, well, thanks for staying tuned for this one. And uh, I'll be on to the next set for the next episode. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. All right, bye-bye.